Welcome back to Andrew Jean Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you how to easily and quickly clean your interior car cloth seats or van cloth seats, whatever sort of vehicle that you drive. I'm going to clean this and it's going to be using household products that you already have so no need to go out and purchase any sort of fancy stuff and really heavily laden chemical cleaners. This channel is all about cleaning and organizing for busy women so I try to find you the best, easiest, fastest ways to get things done. You can see in here my cloth interior is black this is gonna work on stains when I'm about to show you it's also going to deodorize all right and it's also going to degrease so we're doing it all here for you today now if I had a stain I would show you but trust me trust me I have done this on cloth that is white and it works absolutely so here's what we're gonna be using in here I just have some Dawn dish soap and this is a Dollar Tree squirt bottle and some warm water and it doesn't really matter how much Dawn you use. I would say start with a little bit less because it's going to get super sudsy. And you're going to spray it all over the seat that needs to get cleaned. Or has a stain on it. Spray it in there very generously. And it smells awesome. Who doesn't love that? Okay. Now if you have a stain, I would not suggest scrubbing it at this point because a lot of times what it's gonna do, if, let's say if it's ketchup or soda, it's gonna soil it more into the fabric. So spray the product. The second thing that you're gonna do is get yourself a shop vac. If you don't have one of these, that's okay. Your, your everyday sort of household vacuum probably has some sort of attachment on it that you can use. I'll show you the one that I have here right there i will have that linked in the description box in case you're in the market for one i absolutely love that a couple tips here is make sure that you clean it out if you have been using it outside in your garage or that sort of thing because any sort of liquid is going to get really disgusting mixed inside that shop vac so i have emptied that already and then you're going to want to make sure the top of your piece here this came with the shop vac is cleaned as well you don't want to especially if you have really light cloth seats you don't want to put more stains in there. So I have done both of those things. So we're gonna go ahead, vacuum this up, okay? It's gonna remove dirt, it's gonna remove any stains. There's probably stains in here. I have three kids with one on the way here. Um, but it's gonna be harder to tell on this sort of fabric, okay? So let me show you that. Smelling better already. I definitely need to get down there and vacuum. Now, if you find and you still have dirt and stains in here, I would repeat this process anywhere from like four to five times. Again, we're not scrubbing. We don't want that stain to get really solidified in the fabric. So you're gonna spray again, and then you're gonna vacuum it up. You can let the product soak in there. I would say maybe 10 minutes or so, depending upon how tough your stain is. But again, you're gonna to wanna to repeat this process several times and that stain will come right up. And it's also gonna clean your fabric, which is awesome. Next thing here, if you wanna take this a step farther. So fabric like this can really hold a ton of smells, whether you had large animals or smoke or food or anything really. And I have a whole video dedicated how to destink in fact, in the description box, there's a whole car cleaning tips and tricks playlist, so make sure you check that out about how to dehaze, clean rubber mats, all of it. But to take this one step further, grab yourself some baking soda. This is gonna help deodorize. This will also help lift stains. So we got a lot of bonuses here. And you can put a generous amount on there. And I just like to take a microfiber cloth and just rub it into the fabric, get it in all over. Depending upon how stinky your car is, how set in those smells are, you're gonna want to let this baking soda sit for as long as possible. The more deep in stains you have, the stinkier it is, like with cigarette smoke or other types of smoke, the longer you wanna let it sit there. Baking soda is awesome. You put it in your fridge, you put it in your freezer, and it absorbs all of those smells. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit, I'll come back and vacuum it all up. It is smelling awesome in here and looks wonderful. So there's no need to go buy fancy cleaners for your vehicle. Do not do that. Especially because a lot of times you don't even know what they're gonna do to your fabrics. The good old household products that you have are going to do the trick for you here. If we're not friends on Instagram, make sure you hit me up at Andrew Jean Co. I teach women how to turn their passions into profits and this cleaning and organizing channel is one way that I do that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.